Hey, here I am again. Oh, twice in one day. You can tell I don't have too much to do today, can you? No, it's a Friday night, so I figured I would do two of these because there's going to be times when I'm really busy. So I changed my shirt, um, but I'm still telling you I'm doing it on the same day. So this one is going to be called um, story number three, and I'm going to call it Leaves of Three, Leave Them Be. Uh, we all know that one from camp. Uh, let's see, I actually have one of my pictures from camp. Look, here's me. Um, I'm that fat guy right there. Um, and look at, look at this motley crew. Now again, I am 52, so this would have been, oh, I don't know, I guess I would have been like maybe 10 or something like that. I am that guy. So anyway, here I am. Um, I was never much of a camper. Always had a problem. Always got the poison ivy. Always got bit by the mosquitoes. Um, I actually hate to camp, you know. Um, I, it's not my thing. So I guess I should have paid a little more attention to my counselor, this guy. But I didn't. So. I don't know a whole lot about foliage. My wife loves to have plants and all kinds of stuff in the yard, big bushes. They're very pretty, but uh, you know, she's like, oh, isn't this one great? This is a so-and-so, so-and-so. You know, it all looks like brush to me. Uh, it looks good, but it looks like brush. I don't know what it is. So anyway, um, I've had a lot of luck with pictures of brush. So let's just look at a couple of them before we get to the big one. This one has been very, very successful for me. Um, it's called Primeval OG. Let me back up a little bit here so we can get it so it doesn't have such a shine on it. Um, it was a figure with pussy willows, and they were all kind of curled around, and it makes, makes the shape of a heart. I've done very well with this one. This was actually a card with Palm Press, and it's in a couple museums. So there again, if you look at it, there's a lot of foliage. I picked up stuff off the road, a lot of like brush and whatnot. Then I use pussy willows um, and so on. Um, so that one was called Picena. This is another one that has been very good to me. It's called The Nestling. And it was a woman and she shaved her head into the shape kind of almost like a, a monk's hairdo, like the top of an egg. Get in here a little closer and you get the idea. She's coming out of a large egg and if you look at it there's all kinds of Spanish moss and all kinds of stuff in the actual image. Again you can look at my website if you want to see these a little clear. Um, but this one again called the Nestle and a lot of luck with this one um, as far as exhibition and publication and everything else. Um, so that's been another good one. Um, here was another one this one, again, a lot of foliage. This one I did actually for a, um, what did I do it for? Oh, it was um, called Be Mine, and I did it for a Valentine. And as you can see, it's a figure, and she's got a um, kind of bee's hat on, and there's beehives and nests and foliage and all that kind of stuff. So here I had three hits, three big hits. It's like, okay, I'm getting on the ball. I'm like Mr. Organic, you know, which is so far from the truth. I'm more like Mr. Tupperware, you know. I mean, I like KFC. I think, you know, I watch Top Chef and I go to some of those restaurants from time to time. But in all honesty, I would much prefer to have the Colonel's Secret Recipe. Much of that may be because I slightly resemble the Colonel. I don't know, but I love Kentucky Fried Chicken. So anyway, um, I am not Mr. Organic, as people that know me know. Um, all right, so let's get to the title of this, which is Leaves of Three, Leave Them Be. I always knew about that. I know about that. I know about poison ivy. I get it, you know? Those, those three leaves, I look for that, I go in the woods, that's fine. Well, that isn't the problem. The problem was, I didn't know that it also grew like this. So take a look here. This is again a more clinical image, but do you see this fuzzy vine? Oh, I thought this was wonderful when I first saw it. It's this hairy vine that was growing up a tree. So I thought, oh, that is so cool. It looks just like the mohawk on this model that I use. So here it is, hairy vine. 
look like a hairy vine. Here is an image of the model that I shot with it. And he's kind of in a crouched position and he's got it kind of across his back and whatnot. Now wait, I have a better picture um, of him. Here we go. Look. So there it is. There is the hairy vine. Why did I want to photograph him with the hairy vine? Because he was this very cool mixed race model that had a mohawk that was kind of shaved in the, in the back and it, it looked exactly like this fuzzy vine. It was like, oh, that would be so cool. So I got the model, I went out to this tree in the woods and I cut down the fuzzy vine. Oh, Jesus. I get the model in there that day, we shoot the pictures, I get this phone call. Just about the time I get the phone call, I get the itch. And I'm telling you, it's not just an itch. It's like beyond an itch. And here's the thing. It was, in fact, poison oak. As you people that go out in the woods know, poison oak, poison oak. So what happens when I tell you that the model got poison oak everywhere? And that's with an emphasis on everywhere, I mean everywhere. So I had to pay to send him to the dermatologist, and about that time, I got poison oak everywhere too, because I cut it down, and when I cut it down, I was wearing little running shorts. If you can imagine the idea of me in running shorts, that's bad enough, but the idea of me cutting it down in running shorts, when I tell you I got poison oak everywhere too, I mean it. I was walking like this for a week and with an emphasis on everywhere. I mean, I, took, I went to the dermatologist because I didn't know what it was and I took this bag with that cut up vine in and I took it in to show the doctor and he goes, oh my God, get it away. So there, this is a cautionary tale. So leaves of three, leave them be and do not touch the fuzzy vine. Thank you. See you next time.